dental laboratory in Halle in eastern Germany. New terrain for Claudio Santos. He used to work for the Portuguese army. My contract is over, so I have to look for uh, another opportunities. And when I saw this, I thought, well, it's a good one. And I just grab it. He found the job via the Mobile Pro EU program, as did Katja Leite. She used to work in insurance, but is now also considering a future in dental prosthetics. I worked with people in another area. And here I work um, with different things, but um, we have the same responsibility and we need to be very focused. This is very nice. The three Portuguese interns are a welcome addition to the busy team at the dental prosthetics lab. Former secretary Liliana Silva is now taking dental imprints rather than dictation. It's very different. Portuguese is, is more relaxed, uh, jobs, and here is everything is um, really certain. You understand? Yeah, it's good. It's different. I like um, the way Deutsch people work. <laughs> Liliana is making impression trays. And she's made a big impression on her boss, who's casting an eye on the future and her new full-time staff. She has a good aptitude for the job and was working on patients after just three weeks. I'm delighted. One significant obstacle, however, is the language barrier. And before even being comfortable in day-to-day -day German, the interns have to master technical terms such as bite plate. I'll write down the term like bisschablone, and she writes it in Portuguese. Then we practice saying it. Right? <laughs> it's much better. Liliana Silva lives in a communist-era concrete high-rise, together with her family. She practices German with fellow Portuguese interns, there are some 40 of them in Halle, and with her daughter, who's a quick learner. The interns are paid around 800 euros a month, enough for Liliana herself to live on, but not her family as well. Her husband has to stay home with Erika. Yeah. They told me that um, she could come here, uh, that he ha uh, she have a kindergarten to go, but only in September. So she stay at home with my husband now. In September, we'll see. That's the interns made advanced preparations in Portugal, but the language courses there weren't as productive as hoped. Late arrivals like Claudio begin with practically no German. When I made the interview, I only know how to say my name, and it wasn't very good. I have to speak in English. And in this part of Germany, English isn't widely spoken. On the outskirts of the city, we meet other Portuguese interns building a new sports hall. They come from a variety of backgrounds. Rinaldo Costa used to be a piano teacher, but he may be trading in music for a career as an electrician. The job is different, the work is different, but uh, in these three months uh, we have to, um, to see and then, and then uh, um, we have to say if, uh, if uh, I like it, if, uh, but I, I enjoy it. Building sites aren't everyone's dream workplace, but despite having seen one intern quit, the site supervisor is optimistic. Well, the language is a problem, especially on the technical terminology. But some are doing pretty well. We'll have to see whether it works out. The best way of learning both skills and terminology is on the job. The four young Portuguese interns here will decide in the autumn whether they feel up to doing a full apprenticeship in German. They've got my respect. They've come to a new country without knowing the language. All the people we have here have relatively advanced high school qualifications.
Because there's a shortage of skilled tradesmen in Halle, the company is offering free extra language tuition to those who become trainees. Budding dental technicians are also thin on the ground in this region. How are you coming along? Did you do this all by yourself? It looks very nice. All that it needs now is a number on it. Is she confident they'll stay? Yes, they'll be committed to the apprenticeship, which can take another three and a half years. I'm sure they'll want to complete that successfully. And while they still miss Portugal, they're eager to settle in here. We need to talk with a lot of German people to really understand the culture, the way of living, and do the same. In a few months' time, they'll decide whether Halle will be their new home for good.